uh, how to, uh, to assemble uh, the different parts that will support the dish itself. You have this, uh, this, uh, this part first, this first component, and you orient it in such a way that the arrow is on the top, and this other one will be assembled again this one, and you arrange so that also the curve here is in the same direction than the arrow. Now, it's uh, very important to see that you have two holes here. Uh, these two holes, the roll is different. Uh, uh, if, you, if you assemble, first I will, I will put this outside, normally it will be inside. If you assemble and you put the, um, the, put the, the, the screw here using the first hole that is here, then you will see that uh, when moving, when moving the, 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 the dish, uh, the, when you rotate, you, if you adjust like this, you rotate and you, you are using the, the hole on, at, at the top here. Uh, and you rotate, you will see that the plate at extreme position will not be horizontal, that the dish will not be horizontal. But if you use the second one, then you can rotate uh, uh, so that the dish can be almost horizontal. Then I put here, I use this uh, screw uh, that you see here, I use it. And then I remove first uh, this, uh, the nut, and then I use uh, um, the second hole here. Check two. You have to mount the screw. Okay, here. You put this here. Take this. Put this here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. And we do the second one also here. This is this screw. Be careful that uh, uh, the surface must be inside and the screw itself is outside so that you can uh, easily uh, manipulate with a key. Then I put that here. And then you screw also this. Yeah, that is simple. Okay, now we are going to, uh, uh, to mount the screw for this uh, curved part and you can see that you have the graduation in angle that will uh, be helpful when you want to orient the dish. This side is parallel to the dish plan. And then since we are using the, the hole inside here that is at the bottom, you can rotate this uh, while this part is vertical. You can rotate almost to have the dish horizontal looking at the sky indeed and then for this i use the same type of screw with this uh, very flat uh, head uh, i put it inside and and then i use here this is not uh, delivered with the equipment but it's good to put it so that the rotation can be done easily uh, without uh, uh, without cleaning the the graduation that is uh, uh, that is engraved here and then you put this uh, screw here, uh, you screw, you screw it, yeah, no, yes, yeah, you screw it, uh, very good, and you do the other one also here, the second one, you take it, uh, you take it, okay, take uh, this one, and then you put, I put here, you put inside, and then you screw this. Very easy. So this part will be vertical and you get this. Uh, the, this can be rotated to look for the, the position of different satellites. Next part is that we will mount this, uh, the, the, the support that will go in it and uh, will hold the, the LNB. We will fix it. One has to be careful this. Uh, look look the arrow and the two holes here uh, you have the possibility there is a temptation to mount it outside here and then if you want to put this against the dish that you won't, you won't be able to do that then you have to put this rather inside and then you have for that long long screws like this that like this one and then you put that inside here the hole first you put that we will take this superior one uh, and if you you get it like that and then you put inside here and then you get this and then it's outside and then you can screw this 
here, please. You can screw that. We do that first. Yeah, very simple. And then I take the second one also. And then we put that also inside the hole here. And then when it is uh, out here, and then you can also screw this. Okay, you screw this. No, the other way. Yeah, very good. And then uh, we, we we put this inside like that, and the top will be go will, will be going like this and be uh, uh, against the small curve that we see here. And then you look at it will be that way. And then we uh, put this component on the top that will hold this uh, this uh, support, and then. We screw, and then you can put that, take it. You screw this, yeah, on the top here, and then we turn, 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 uh-huh, mount it, okay, okay, mount it, yeah, mount it, yeah, turn, 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 and that's okay. Uh, most of the work is done by using the key number 10. Uh, as you see here, no, you turn the other way around. You turn like this. Yeah, that, that's it. Okay, you turn. Yeah. And all the components has to be tightened like that. Okay, we tighten also this over element like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, very good. Yeah, you always turn when you want to tighten it, you turn in the direction of uh, the uh, of the needle of a, a watch. Okay, you must tighten also this element that will support the dish. Indeed, very good. Uh, we will mount the the dish itself against the pieces that we have. Uh, just assembled. Uh, you will see that this this one, the holes that we already say are not uh, placed, located at the center of, of the parable, the four holes. So you have to be careful that uh, the shortest part will be the one inserted here, as you see, here. And then we will put four screws uh, to hold all this system together. Okay, you put this last one uh huh. In the hole, yeah. Push it. Just push it. Yeah, that's okay. And then you screw it at the back here. Very good. Very good. Yeah. You tighten this one also. Okay. Good. Yeah. You turn. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay, very good. Tighten it. Yeah, very good. The, uh, the support of the LNB, the way that is shown here. Okay, we align the holes, and this long screw is used for that. Put it here, and then we can screw. Here outside to tighten it. Yeah. And once this is down, again with key number 10, we tighten a little bit. Okay, that's good. And then we loosen the screw, the two screw here, in order to mount the LNB. And that is. Uh, that can be done with a screwdriver, but I will use uh, this, uh, this small device here, tighten here. Oops, oops. now it's too tightened, uh, slightly like this. Put it here and orient the LNB so that, uh, that the, the, the exit for the wire, the exit for the wire will orient it toward the soil. And I will put this uh, screw in place. Uh, 
Yeah. Stop. Yeah, then I put in place the screw here. And I tighten it a little bit. The other one also. And I put it inside. This can be done with a screwdriver, so don't worry if you don't have this Bosch machine, it's not a problem at all. Yeah, we tighten it a little bit here. Yeah, the dish with the LNB presented this way, and um, you should manage so that this can be symmetrical. You have the graduation with a small triangle at the top that will be aligned with the zero here, uh, at the beginning at least. And then when you are looking for your satellite position, uh, moving this around in, in order to find uh, the, or the uh, polarization position or the LNB tilt. I have here for the demonstration purpose is uh, uh, support that will hold uh, the whole satellite dish. I insert like this, like this. And then I can tighten this screw here. And then you have your whole system like this with the possibility to make you know the inclination changes in order to find the satellite position. Now if you want to uh, make the azimuth also to rotate like this, that was also possible. You just loosen this one and then you can turn at the direction you want. Can turn it and look for. So this uh, is very practical for looking for the position of the satellites by moving the azimuth that is given by your, uh, your, your the instruction you have you have taken for for your location and the satellite you want. You use a, a you use a, an instrument that is called a compass in order to find exactly which direction you have to take it to take and then you orient for finding the inclination and then you use also the this small device we show you in a video that is a satellite finder